Elkia, an Eldorian country. Elkia is a cultured and civilised land ruled over by the Lord Protector and the Holy Trinity Churches. These churches represent the three supreme deities of law and order in the world, Ormosha, Esmia and Sirata. Elkia was once part of the heartlands of the Sardellan Empire and its current regime emerged in the 1600s ah, after many years of civil war, following the empire's demise. As such, the people of Elkia share much of the same culture as their kin in Saad. They wouldn't admit this and their politics are radically different. The Treaty of Four Swords, signed in Carhaven in 1677R, ended hostilities and established the new border of Elkia from the Sardellan Empire. This groundbreaking treaty was orchestrated by the Emotion Church, which immediately assumed power in Denhaven, the largest city and now capital of Elkia. This was short-lived, however. Senior priests in the Emotion Church had a acquired obscene amounts of wealth during the height of the Sardellan Empire and had made many questionable decisions concerning war and colonial expansion. This led to problems in the Holy Trinity and the alienation of the churches of Esmia and Sirata. During a great congress held in Odressi in 1679R, the moderate factions in the Emotion Church decided it was high time to purge the church of its zealots and heal these old rifts. After cutting a deal with the high clerics of the Sirata and Esmian faiths, they voted to transfer governmental control in Elkia over to the church of Sirata. This formally took place in 1681R with the emotions retaining an administrative hold over the judicial system in the country. The position of the Lord Protector was created and the first title holder being Lannis Thanfor of the Order of the Knights of Glory. The Lord Protector governed with a council of 12 other knights drawn from Sirata orders and the council was divided into 12 regions called protectorates, overseen by the council members or their delegates. Each protectorate has its own council of 12 drawn from the leaders of the more populous villages and often supplemented by local religious dignitaries. Although most commoners worked the lands of noble houses, in Elkia it was far easier to become a freehold landowner than in Saad. If an Elkian commoner provided his lord with at least seven years labour, he became eligible to receive a grant of land equal to one square acre for each year of service in excess of the first five. This grant also required the applicant to provide their lord with substitute labourer in the event that the commoner also sought to withdraw from service and farm their own land exclusively. In most cases, a man will farm his lord's land until his eldest child is of age to act as a substitute labourer. Commoners in Elkia who own land are entitled to vote in protectorate elections and to be appointed as candidates to the local Council of Twelve. The northern and eastern parts of Elkia are a rich agricultural basin. The farm holdings, known for their bountiful grain harvest and the quality of their beef and dairy cattle. The countryside in these regions is green and pleasant, with wide pastoral tracts of land broken by meandering rivers or wooded ranges of low hills.